to that deadly plane crash. Five people killed when a small plane went down in a California neighborhood shortly after takeoff, igniting a massive fire that engulfed several homes. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is there in Yorba Linda. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Robin. According to investigators and video we've seen, it appears that plane began to break apart in the air before crashing into this neighborhood. And that's why you have this debris field that's over four blocks long. And we're going to zoom in. You can actually see one of the plane's engines leaning against that house. Five homes damaged here and, of course, five people killed. It was a sleepy Sunday afternoon when parts of a plane began raining down on this Los Angeles suburb. I saw two fireballs and the plane was just falling out of the sky and by the time we got up here we saw this devastation in the neighborhood. One part of this twin engine Cessna blasting into this home like a missile. Oh my God. That plume seen for miles. It just went up so fast there was nothing you could do. The inferno killing four people in that house who have not yet been identified. The pilot of the plane, its only occupant, also killed. Within seconds, dozens of dazed residents wandering amidst the wreckage. In this video, you can still hear those small explosions popping off. The folks yelling, get back. I look up and I just see debris flying everywhere and, and part of the plane, I, I guess, which eventually was the motor, flew down into the garage like a torpedo and just hit the garage and blew up. Propellers scattered on lawns, debris strewn across the neighborhood, and windows shattered. The debris field is about four blocks long. We're in the process of documenting the debris and the wreckage. Uh, the main cabin of the airplane, along with one of the engines, came to rest at the bottom of a, uh, a ravine in the backyard of uh, somebody's house. Two additional people taken to burn centers and a firefighter injured. That investigation just beginning. We're going to continue this operation through the evening and probably well into tomorrow morning. And typically small planes don't have black boxes or data recorders. And because of that, investigators are going to have to piece together what happened here through those videos that we saw, but also that debris field. Mm, Guys. So large. Mm. That's so tragic. All right, Matt, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.